Welcome to RBO. Today, guys, we're going over the Jets Pizza Salad Survival Kit. This thing's just a little salad container that just seals up right here. So it'd be easy to seal it up with some tape or something like that. Go around the edges. Something you can have in your off road vehicle, something you can have in your truck. Not really care about it. Nothing that's too expensive. And yeah, get right into it. Pop this sucker open. Everything fit perfectly. I was very happy with that. Right on top, we have a cover sponge or compression absorbent. Um, pretty much just gauze. Soak up some blood. Make sure you don't bleed out or something like that. No fun in that. Here we have our gallon size Ziploc bag. That's for water collection. We also have an emergency hooded poncho, an emergency orange, a little alcohol pad stuck in there. I believe there's two of them in there. We also have an emergency blanket. This is a Mylar blanket, so it's really good at reflecting your heat back on you. Really good for making shelters as well. For cordage, we just have some basic yard twine. Does the job, sometimes you gotta double up on knots, but no issue there. Here, we have our off-brand Swiss Army knife. So we got our corkscrew. It's a little janky. We got our awl. We also got an extra blade and a Phillips head. On this side, we have our bottle opener, can opener, screwdriver, or flathead. We also have a pair of scissors, as well as our main cutting blade our saw, and our descaler. We have our tweezers, a little bent. Probably gonna be forcing it down in there like that. Ooh, it's in there tight. We have our toothpick. I think it's my lack of nails. That's a knife. Hopefully I pronounced everything correctly on that knife this time. Here, we have our magnification lens. This is really good to work with the tweezers, picking out splinters and whatnot, or even fire starting. For navigation, very basic compass. Does the job. Also has a little lanyard thing here so you can tie some twine through it and be able to wrap it around your neck and continuously look at your path. Make sure you don't lose it. Here, we have our survival card. This has a fork or a spearhead two needles, an arrowhead, two line collectors, and a plethora of hooks. For a little boost, we have an Omega-3 Deluxe Mix, which is just dried nuts and berries. For more of a boost, we have some yellow mustard, as well as a beef bouillon cube. We got two water activated towelettes. These are used for first aid, hygiene, water filtration, marking the trail, ripping off strands, tying it to trees, whatever you need to do. Here we have our Acme. I'll go ahead and link the website in the bio again. These are Acme whistles. These are great whistles and they're very cheap. Not cheaply built, they're like great deals for them. That's what I'm trying to say. They're a great company, great whistle, and they have a good selection of whistles, which is odd to say and surprising at the same time. It's really cool. So go ahead and check out that website if you guys need a whistle for your kit. Here we have our carrying bag for all of our gear, or even foraging, maybe even make it into a net if you need to. needed to. And for fire starting, we have some UCO stormproof matches. These are great for fire starting in moist and damp environments, windy environments especially. Here we got our little micro flash signal mirror or star flash. It also has a lanyard thing so you can tie that around your neck as well. Next up, we have our water filtration straw. This comes from Frontier. It's an emergency filter. And I went ahead and cut down the straw here to save them, save on some space. And it's hauled together by some trash ties right here, just to keep everything compact. Another source of fire, we have the Light My Fire Ferro Rod. 
a little beat up, seen some days, but that paired with the Swiss Army knife gets you some flares pretty easily. Here we have our concept fishing kit. I don't have any sinkers or hooks in it or leads, but you can see you have a great amount of space to fill this whole thing with it. And you can wrap as much line around this as you want. And yeah, this is one of my homemade fishing kits. Works really good. I went ahead and used utility tape here to not only build up a border, but strengthen that pop just to make sure it keeps that nice seal on there. Not everything falls out when you're just trying to reel in a fish or something. That would really suck. And yeah, great kit. On the bottom of our kit, we have a cotton bandana. It's worn, but it's okay. You can go ahead and tear this up and use it for fire starting, water filtration, first aid, basic hygiene to scrub yourself. You can put it on a stick and wave it around like a flag. Do whatever you need to do with it. It's a great thing to have, especially if it, you're in a hot environment. You have water near you. Soak this thing, put it around your neck, and let it cool on your body. It's a great thing. Last but not least, we have our basic first aid kit. We have our mini bandages. So you get little scrapes, just some thorn, thorns in you. You don't want an infection or leaving it open. You can go ahead and put a bandit on that. As well as one packet of triple antibiotic ointment. We also have, what is it? Three good size bandages and a cough drop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, what you guys would do differently. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Have an awesome day.